Hey guys, I'm Corey. And I'm Dana. Welcome to our channel. So today we have a tour of the Grand Suite, cabin number 1552 on Royal Caribbean's Adventures of the Seas. And this was the first time that we ever gotten in the Grand Suite. Now let's go ahead and give you a, a tour of these closets here. Look at these giant closets that we had. There was tons of space uh, for your life vests and your suitcases and jackets and shoes and just about anything. Uh, plus there was nice full length mirrors, I think on all the closets, I believe. So we were on this particular cruise for eight days. So what you're seeing here is about eight days worth of clothing and storage for us. So you'll see as we go through this, we have a lot, tons of storage, but we didn't use it all. Um, I think the room technically holds maybe up to four people. So there's plenty of storage for everybody. Got a nice little mini fridge right here in the kitchen area. Um, as you can see, we're already using it. That is salad dressing. It's <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> keeps things nice and cool. It's not completely cold, but it keeps it nice and cool. Here we had lots of drawers for any other types of clothing that you may have, shorts and whatnot. Tons of storage again. I think there were at least eight drawers right there. You had your coffee pot over here, so you can make some coffee or some hot tea and some bottled water with some wine glasses. And Again, we... more storage up here for our little snacks. And we always liked fresh ice from the room steward, filled all day. And one of the neat things about the Grand Suite is you see my little room service containers there, is room service is included, so you don't pay additional for it. Now here we had our room control, temperature control gauge. And then here's where you have the announcement channel. You can listen to the announcements in your room, turn the volume up or down. And this was kind of weird but neat. Um, you could adjust the lighting schemes in the room. So day, evening, night, um, quickly cut off the bedroom light or cut it on. Now let's take a look at this bathroom. Huge, huge bathroom. Um, almost big enough to be like basically a handicap room or uh, a room that you would see at a resort or something. Giant, giant bathroom. Yeah, it's like a normal kind of residential size bathroom with mm -hmm. the double sinks. Um, those toiletries there, they're supposed to be upgraded toiletries. Look, that's the man side. Look at all that stuff. Um, you get upgraded toiletries with the Grand Suite, so you see those there. This is my side. Don't need much. I'm a natural beauty. <laughs> And again, you have tons of storage. Um, you can see all the cabinets and the drawers here. And that hole above is where uh, you have tissues, but we took them out. You had a trash can on each side. Yep. Who needs two trash cans in the bathroom? I don't know. Nice tub and shower. And although it's high, you'll see it has plenty of grab bars in it. I actually really like this tub because not only was it deep, but it had a place in the back you could actually sit down if you wanted to shave your legs or store or like all your shampoos and body washes and stuff like that. I had great water pressure um, in the tub. Didn't really have any problem with that. You had a nice little um, drawstring here for your, uh, your clothesline, actually, for your clothes to dry. Struggle a little bit trying to plug, <laughs> trying to plug that in. And this is probably the only time it's actually been long enough to hang all of our stuff on it because it's a tub instead of usually the little Royal Caribbean capsule showers that we have in the regular room. We brought a little hamper uh, for our dirty clothes and everything. Had fresh towels and washcloths all day long. Now over here we had our little living space um, sofa, which I think pulls out. Yeah, it converts it to a bed. Um, nice size TV over there. And then you can see where all of our plugs and things are. <laughs> we had everything charging, cameras, batteries, and stuff like that. There was a power strip actually over there that you could actually plug your stuff in. So we didn't even have to bring an extra one. Right, it was already there. 
So see, you'll see here, this is the bedroom. There's actually a big divider curtain. It's a blackout curtain, so it actually uh, gives you privacy. You saw the pillows in the bed. They look a little bit different than normal pillows because with the grand suite, you actually get a uh, pillow menu so you can decide what pillows you want. We got foam and a body pillow. As you can see, there's more stores. That's where I keep all my secrets, all my makeup and stuff. There's a running theme here. Storage. storage. <laughs> <laughs> more storage than you can think of, which is great. So you don't have to worry about cramming things in. A nice little safe there. Plenty of space inside the safe to put all your things. We actually started just putting stuff anywhere because we just had so much space to put it in. So it mm -hmm. didn't even matter. You, you got two little uh, night or, or two uh, bedside lights on each side. Uh, you push the button there to turn it on and off. And then if you turn the, that's actually a dial. If you turn the dial, it will actually dim. It took forever for me, for me to figure that out. And then there's another button switch right here, and that turns on all the other canned lights in the rest of the uh, cabin. Turns them on and off. Mm -hmm. And there's mine. So we're going to go out on the balcony. Um, there's a balcony, actually door on one side, and by the bedroom is actually a big window. The piece de resistance. I wish I was there now. Love, love this balcony. Ugh. Now I bring my own chair simply because I like to like read and sit out here for really long periods of time, fall asleep. So I look for something a little bit more comfortable than just the typical chairs that come on a balcony. Look at that beautiful view of the ocean. We're on the 10th floor. Oh, it's private. And I think you were saying like, this is about the size, it looks like the size of two rooms, about a regular balcony cabin, like it's just twice the size. Yeah. Nice lounger. Actually fell asleep a couple of times laying yeah. on that thing. <laughs> But you get, you know, nice direct sun right there. It sits up pretty high, reading a book. Ugh, oh, it was just so wonderful. And one thing I like about Royal Caribbean is you saw the table when we came out. They give you tables that you can actually dine on. Yeah. I know not all cruise sh ships do that. We like to do room service sometimes and sit outside and eat, so that's nice. And look at that view again. Beautiful. Okay, well that was our tour of the Royal Caribbean Adventure of the Seas. Grand sweet. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. We actually have a lot of videos coming out about the adventure of the seas, but we wanted to kind of break them up a little, a little bit so they wouldn't be too overwhelming. So if you hit that notification bell, you'll be sure to get notified when all the other videos come out. Thanks for watching. Bye.